Good afternoon everybody, my name is Brian from Decanti and today we have the first challenge video that I've ever done on my channel and in general and today it is based around date night and clubbing sense. So as I already said this is my first challenge video I've ever done, someone suggested this challenge called a spray off challenges. The general gist of the challenge is that you get two different fragrances and one pub from each and see which one you can smell first and um, then whichever one you can smell first moves on to the next round until you finally get a winner as to which one's more powerful so like i said this will be based around popular sort of youthful clubbing date night scents that i have in my collection including a few newbies to the scene and some all-time classics I will say that um, Paco Rabanne's Invictus is obviously a go-to sort of uh, clubbing scent. However, I don't actually have a bottle of it, mainly because I don't really like the scent. So that is why this isn't actually making an appearance in this video. So I'm just going to say that's not going to be in there. But like I said, there are a few newbies, some old-time ones, and some just some of my favourites that I decided to chuck in. But these are the ones that you'll smell around the clubbing scene. So there are a few different houses in here. We've got um, scents from Paco Rabanne, Jean-Paul Goutier, Versace, Yves Saint Laurent, and Armani. Those are the only houses that really appear in here, but they're like the biggest houses at the minute when it comes to clubbing youthful day night scents. So the way I'm gonna do my spray off challenge is a little different because I know other channels have pre-chosen fragrances to go against other fragrances, but I thought I had a bit of a random twist to it. So I've got eight fragrances in total and put the names of the fragrances in here. I'm going to randomly draw them out, show you who versus who, and we'll go on like that until we get one final standing fragrance at the very end. And that'll be the winner. Also, what I will do, just as a little treat, I will give away a few of these fragrances at the very end in like one big care package. I'll give you a few samples of a few of them, some of my, some of my favourites here. And that will give you a chance to win yourself a few 5ml decants of some of these fragrances. First of all, I'll show you which fragrances are in the challenge and then we'll draw out for the first round and we'll go from there. So first of all, newest fragrance in my collection and one of the newest fragrances at all at the moment is Packer Band's Phantom. Then an all-time favorite, Versace Eros EDT. Very new edition again, very popular. Scandal Pour Homme. Then you have Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramail. Packer Band One Million. YVSY. EDP, Armani Code, EDT, and Versace Eros Flame. Now the reason why I chose these is because these are probably some of the most popular at the minute in the clubbing scene and will be for a little while, so we're gonna stick with that. So in our first round, Not looking. We have Ultra Male. Very, very rough writing. Put those back in. So, Ultra Male versus Phantom. I think that's going to be quite good because I haven't actually done in a like a in the week review yet of Phantom, but my general vibe is that actually they smell very similar. So it's Ultra Male versus Phantom, new release, all time favorite, especially of mine, but very popular in the clubbing scene. Always has been since its release. So see how a new boy versus up against a classic. Ready? Three, two. One. I've got to say, it's 
It's Phantom. Phantom wins that one. I was actually really surprised by the fact that that was Phantom because, because Ultramail is so powerful, but I don't make the rules and Ultramail is one of my favorites, so I'm quite sad to see that go. But at the end, of all the ones that I've lost, we will pick some of our favorites as a bit of a wild card just to make it a bit more fun. So our next ones will be... Versace Eros Flame, so that's this one, versus put Eros back in there. Ooh. Y vs Y. So me personally, this is Y vs Y. Y vs Y is usually a bit more of a blue fragrance. It's sort of um, their take on Bleu de Chanel and Dior Sauvage. But I do smell it quite a lot in the club, so we'll, that's why I've stuck it in here. Versace Eros Flame, Y vs Y. Three, two, one. Yeah. Versace Eros Flame, instantly could smell it. I could barely even smell. The Y, just because it is, it's just weaker. It's not really one of the strongest club oh, yeah. date night scents out there. But who knows, it might come back in the loser bracket. We'll see. Next up. Eros. Versus Scandal. Oh. So here you've got this should be actually quite interesting actually. I'm looking forward to this one. So you've got Eros versus the new Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal. So you've got quite a sort of uh, wintry warm sort of scent. And then you've got your kind of sweet, minty, fresh sort of scent. Both are actually very strong. Versace House has been a huge classic in the date night scene for a very long time. New up and coming, very popular at the minute. So we'll see which one's the best. Ready? Three, two, one. It's a shame because I do love the fragrance, but Versace Eros is out. The sweetness of Scandal comes through so powerful and so strong. It's literally just a train. And I don't think Versace Eros is going to beat that. It is just so strong and overpowering. It's just, it's just a powerful scent. Right, that only leaves two cents left, which is Paco Rabanne's One Million versus Armani Code. Yet again, another classic, sort of very wintry, quite spicy. And then you've got your sort of warm, sort of generic sort of Armani Code. But here we go. Three, two, one. <sighs> Actually, fair dues. <sighs> one million's out. I can smell Armani Code first. I'm actually quite surprised by that just because um, one million is actually quite a strong fragrance, quite spicy, quite warm. But actually, it wasn't actually until quite a few seconds into it, I could actually smell the code. Barely smelled the one million, but that's starting to come through in the air now. Unfortunately for the one million though, the code wins because I could smell it first. So there we go. Just want to clarify that if I do look red in the eyes or teary eyed, it's because my sinuses have been playing up recently. So spraying a lot of these fragrances is actually aggravating a little bit and I've had to take a little break. But that's the only reason why. See now I'm a little teary eyed, but that's just because a lot of fra different fragrances tends to agonize my nose. Anyway, moving on. So just quickly, fragrances that are moving on are definitely Phantom, Armani Code, Scandal Pour Home, 
and Versace Eros Flame. And fragrances that are in the losers bracket are 1 million, Versace Eros, Y vs Y, and probably the saddest one of them all, Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Now what I will do is I will stick the ones that are in the loser brackets back into the pot. They'll have one final chance to sort of duel it out to join the winners and then we'll go on from there. So in this round we will lose two fragrances from the overall pot. So here we go, these are the losers brackets that are in here at the minute. So that's just to remind you, Ultra Male, YVSY, Eros and One Mil. These are their final chances to claw back into that bracket. So our first battle of the losers bracket will be Ultra Male versus One Million. Oh, so you've got your wintry spicy fragrance versus your syrupy sweet sugary fragrance. This might be quite interesting. So you've got Ultra Male. 1 million, both classics, both very old when it comes to fragrances. Really steady, go. The syrupy sweetness of Ultra Male just comes through with an absolute blast and destroyed 1 million. I think 1 million is more of a fragrance that tends to need to settle first and then it projects. Well as Ultra Male sort of projects straight out of the gate. And I think that's why it's more powerful in that respect. So, one million out of the competition. Y vs Y versus Versace Eros. You've got your sort of clubbing classic in this one, and then your sort of more casual, sort of bluey fragrance with this one. Ready? Three, two, one. Yep, it's an absolute powerhouse, has been for a very long time. Versace Eros has now taken Y vs Y out of the competition. So that is 1 million and Y EDP removed. So on to the next round. Just to clarify from now on, there will be no more loser brackets. That is it. Once you have lost your round, you are out of the competition. So we have Phantom, Armani Code EDT, Versace Eros Flame. Scandal Pour Homme, Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, and Versace Eros EDT. So here we go, round two. Scandal Pour Homme by Jean Paul Gaultier versus. Phantom. Oh. That's going to be an interesting fight. You've got your very sweet wintry scent versus your youthful, sweet, sort of sugary lavender scent. Both new releases, both very popular. This is actually going to be quite interesting. So you have Scandal Pour Homme versus Paco Rabanne's Phantom, the absolute fingerprint magnet. So remember, there's no loser bracket in this round anymore. So whichever one loses is completely out of the competition. Quickly, my projection I think this is going to win is a heavy sweetness whereas it's a light sort of airy sweetness and I think this one just projects very heavily so here we go three two one okay no no take that back I was wrong I got the light airiness of that through first I'm quite surprised by that and the scandal's out that don't get me wrong comes through later very strong, sweet, powerful, but the light airiness of Phantom is what came through first. Don't get me wrong, they're both sweet. This is heavier, this is lighter, but Phantom 1 has a bit more of a lighty, airy punch than Scandal does. So that is Scandal Paul Horn out of the competition. Gone. Next up, we have, 
Armani code versus Ultra Male. So you have Armani code versus Ultra Male. Me personally, I reckon Ultra Male is going to win. Very sweet, very punchy. Huge attention grabber. It's going to come out. It's going to win. So ready? Three, two, one. Yes, Ultra Male wins. Not quite as strong actually that time, but definitely wins. Got the sweetness first. A syrupy sweetness overpowered the Armani Code, which is to be expected. Armani Code is quite tame compared to that. So, unfortunately, if you're an Armani Code fan, it's not up to the same punch as Jean Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. So, goodbye, Armani Code fans. Which leaves us with quite a funny ending to this round. It's a two Versace Eroses in this round. You have Eros and Eros Flame. I think Eros Flame will win this round just because it has that sort of citrusy sweet punch that a Versace Eros doesn't, and that seems to be winning at the minute. But who knows? Let's take a look. Three, two, one. Surprisingly enough in that matchup, actually, Versace Eros Flame didn't come through at all very strongly. I got the mintiness of Versace Eros almost straight away. And that was actually quite surprising. It was quite overpowering. So, not what I expected in that matchup, but there we go. So, moving on is Versace Eros EDT, Jean-Paul Goutier Ultra Male, and Paco Rabanne's Phantom. So you got two classics versus a new kid on the block. This is a three-way final, so the way it's going to be, it will be Phantom versus Ultra Male, Ultra Male versus Eros, Eros versus Phantom. That's how it's going to work. And whoever loses the most rounds will be out completely, and then we'll go on from there. So to start off with, Two sweet powerhouses. Here we go. One, two, three. So that is definitely not what I expected from that round. Phantom one, quite airy, quite fresh, quite sweet. Ultra Male lost. I barely even smelt it in that. So that's it. First round in the final goes to Paco Rabanne's Phantom. And that means Jean-Paul Goutier is down one. Next round is Ultra Male versus Eros. Three, two, one. So that didn't go as I expected, actually. And uh, sadly, I think that means that Ultra Male is out. Eros's mintiness came through once again. Dragged it through that one, and Ultra Male barely came through at all. I do love the scent, but apparently for projection and outright just wow factor, it doesn't beat Eros or Phantom. So that is two losses to Jean-Paul Gaultier, one win for Eros and one win for Phantom. Now it's for these two. Now whichever one wins out of these will be the overall winner and whichever one loses will be second. So here we go, the final showdown. Versace Eros EDT versus Paco Rabanne's Phantom. A classic versus a new kid on the block. One, two, three. Well, there you go. So that's it, it's been decided. In third place, we have Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. Unfortunately, the sweetness of this fragrance wasn't enough to carry it through, but it made it to second. Paco Rabanne's Phantom, new kid on the block, didn't actually expect it to get that far, but hey, it did. And then you have the classic Versace Eros EDT, who is the overall winner. The mint is an absolute phenomenal note in this fragrance, carried it through the competition, and it came first and won. Absolute classic top dog. So there you go, Versace Eros EDT. Out of all the scents we have sprayed today, 
has the most punch and the most impact. I know this isn't the most scientific way to test this, but hey, it's meant to be a fun little challenge video. It was fun smelling a lot of these. I haven't smelt, say, Versace Eros or Paco Bound Ones Million in a little while, actually. But it was fun to smell them again, and I was quite surprised to actually see that Scandal Pour Homme wasn't up closer to the top, and I was actually expecting Jean Paul Goutier's Ultramail to actually win. But if it wasn't thanks to the loser bracket, it would have been completely out in the first round. So, not what I expected at all, but that is what it is. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. I will do more of these sort of spray off challenge videos because actually that was a lot more fun than I expected. But a little competition now for you guys. Now you have to like, comment and subscribe to the channel to be able to enter. But what I'll do is I'll give one lucky winner a 5 mil decant of Versace Eros, 5 mil decant of Phantom, and a 5 mil decant of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramail. So, if you would like a chance to win 15 mils of fragrance for free, I will send postage, you must be living in the UK. Everything is completely paid for by me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this video by the time the next video goes up. And I will pick someone at random so you can try them out yourselves and see whether or not you like them and maybe go out tonight and get a few compliments yourselves. So enjoy, thank you very much for sticking around. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. See you later.